We have a dream that a good film will come out in January! Selma! So Selma is a film that stars David O. Yellow as Martin Luther King Jr. as it follows him as the most important part in the civil rights movement where there were a bunch of riots where black people were getting killed over just trying, or not killed, but just, yeah, from like being raped, killed, put into prison just for trying to help out equal rights for black people for, for voting. You know the story, but what they put in this film is something a little different. Phenomenal. Well, I wouldn't say it's phenomenal, but it is. It. It's excellent. It's a very it's very excellent, very well done. What you're really in for this movie is David Oyelowo's performance as Martin Luther King. Oh my god. It was amazing. Alright, first of all, it's the Academy. Why the hell wasn't David Oyelowo nominated for I Best Actor? I don't understand that. That was bullshit. Nominating Steve Carell over David Oyelowo? Yeah, I have to agree with that, honestly. David Oyelowo deserved what? David Oyelowo deserved it way more than Steve Carell. He or, did. Or I <laughs> take Joe and Hall. Yeah. Anyways. Don't yeah. even get me started on that. I, I know. Martin he Luther is King the Martin Luther Jr. King Jr. Yeah. When you look at him, you don't see an actor. You see Martin Luther King Jr. And my God, does he do such an amazing job with his role? Phenomenal. And he's really the only actor that really stands out. There's other great acting like Oprah Winfrey's in it. Cuba Gooding Jr. Uh, yeah, Cuba Gooding Jr. is in it. You also have Tom Wilkinson as President Johnson, I believe. I I thought he should have gotten something for a best and he was great. Actor. He you was know, great. Yeah, Tim Roth in there as uh, as a governor from Alabama, I believe. Oh, yeah. There was some guy I can't remember what his name is, but he played he played uh, J. Edgar. Uh, God, what's the guy's name? Something. Um, I'll put his picture right there. I can't remember his name, but he did a great job. Pretty much all the supporting roles and the main leading role did the best jobs the Absolutely. entire movie. I wish we could have had more style moments from the other cast members. But I still love the movie. Oh it's yeah, phenomenal. oh yeah. It's, it's still an amazing film. It really is. But there are some truly powerful moments. Like, I I teared up at one point. I really did. Me too. It really shows how, just like told me to say, how messed up people were. Like in the 19th. 50s? 60s. 60s. In the 60s. Cinematography was ap was amazing. Mm -hmm. It had some great shots, especially to when they're on the bridge. You get mm -hmm. to see them walking on the bridge. That was yeah. just phenomenal. Yeah. And then when they finally do get the march going near the end of the movie. Like, oh, yeah. Like, that's Quite just, great. That's yeah. great. Yeah, powerful moment right there. Very powerful moment. Just like American Sniper, it, did, it doesn't show his assassination, which I'm kind of glad about as Thank well. Goodness. It's really just a great film overall. I mean, I mean, you you loved it. I thought it was I great. It. I thought it was great. Like, there are some parts, I don't know why, but they use a slow motion. And it's, it just didn't seem necessary. There was a few parts where I kind of just wish where it didn't slow it down a little bit but I will say the one scene where like the one guy got shot um, that was very well done I that love that amazing. scene it's that's just, it's an amazing shot it's just I feel bad for the character yeah congratulations for getting a best picture nomination and Absolutely. and for glory for uh for best song of the year best song of the year seriously I mean um, that, I think it's gonna win honestly. that between everything is awesome oh my god I don't know why oh, yeah. I, lo I love both songs oh and also by the way where the hell is best director nominated Even Mr. Verney got snubbed. And by the How way, dare you? by the way, her first film. Her first film. And a lot of people for first films got snubbed. Dan Gilroy, Dave, well, technically Damien Chazelle, I mean, his, 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 his first commercial movie. And now Ava DuVernay. Seriously, where the hell are they? Probably one of the best historical films I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. It's just. Breathtaking, how amazing. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. Now, sure, uh, now, Chris Duckman and the Schmoes said this certain thing. Do you think that this film should be shown in schools? Yes, I think it should be. I think it should be because it's not too violent. No, like, it's not. To totally just slave. I would not because it's way too violent. This one, it shows the perfect amount of violence that it needs to. It, sh it has everything you need to write to mm -hmm. it. It's a perfect film you need to show in school. I don't think it's a perfect film per se. But like it's a good film to use in really good <laughs> Yeah, film. absolutely. Yeah, this one we should definitely should be shown in schools, but I don't think it's a per this is nowhere near a perfect film, in my opinion. It's very is. close for me. I'm just gonna give this film five out of five. Without okay. a doubt, this was, this is definitely my favorite film in 2015 right now, as it stands. Wow. Right now. Because this film, it's like the best historical film you've ever, like, 
I've ever seen. It's but, yeah, by the way, guys, we're counting this as a 2015 because we did not get this until literally this month. It did not come out so, until... So yeah, we're, so yeah, he's counting this as a 2015. I count this as a 2015. It's fine. I originally gave this a 4, but you know, I'm going to go give this a 4.5 out of 5. There it's, you go. And it's such a well-done film. I really do think this should be shown in schools. It's not a perfect one by any means, but it is definitely a very excellent, very well-made drama, and I am really, really displeased to hear that David Oyelowo was not nominated for Best Actor. He Which is bullshit. He should have been nominated. I would go crazy if this film won Best Picture. I would be... I, honestly, I'd be I'd happy. love that. Comment us down below, where is your favorite historical biopic? And until the next review, we'll see you guys next time. See you later and stay awesome.